morning everybody. Actually, I'll tell you what, let's shut that because the background noise is up. It's a bit loud out there. Uh, yeah, bright and early. Um, so, while well, I'm waiting here, just get, it's a get here between half five and six. Usual situation. Get here at half, we've got a quarter past five to find out they don't come in till six. Yay! And in a truck, do you get waiting time? Not so much, but hey, I don't care. I've got it on break, I'm gonna have a cup of tea. I'm gonna make a video for you guys. So, uh, right, this was one four. What did we do this one four? Prepared as usual. Um, Ian Clark, factoring companies, how do they work? When do they pay? Do you have to chase the debts? What about invoice control? Now, I've done one on factoring companies before. I did one on how to join a factoring company. I recommend Skipton's. I'll do a link on joining Skipton's, or if you go to the end screen, there'll be a one that's actually a website where there's loads of things about fuel cards and factoring companies. If you do go with Skipton's, uh, not sorry, yeah, if you do go with them, please mention my name. They give me a drink out of it. But that's not the reason why I recommend them. I recommend them because I think they're the best. Really noisy here. Um, That doesn't make any difference. Uh, yeah, I recommend it because I think the best. Feel free to try all the other factoring companies out there, but we've looked into it, and pound for pound, I think they're the best. How do they work? Well, firstly, it's a bit of a noise. To sign up with a factoring company, you need to be turning over a few quid. So, because we had a few vans on the go, well, no fairness, I was turning over a few quid in the loot, and so they only really want to take you if you've got a large turnover. Otherwise, they'll want to charge you a fee. By the time you've worked out the fee and all that, by the, time, that's better. by the time you've worked out the fee and all that, um, it doesn't work out so well. So you want to be turning over a reasonable amount of money so they'll give you the right deal. Uh, how do they work? The way it tends to work is what you'll do is they'll have their own separate systems and they'll have their own checks. And what they'll do is you'll do some work on the exchange for a week and, um, and then... They'll, they'll see the, the work that you've done. They'll see the invoices that you've put out. Then they'll start ringing random customers to make sure that that is a bona fide invoice and not just things that you're creating on, on like a Word document and sending into it. And they'll go, yeah, that's fine. We're going to pay that in that amount of time. Once they work out your bona fide, what they will then do is they say, for example, over the space of a week, uh, you take a thousand pound. They will pay you a thousand pound the following week less depending on the percentage now let's say for sake of argument with the old firm i think it was less 15 percent so you'd work for a whole week and then a week later they would put 850 quid in your bank and then what they would then do is when they received the money they would pay out another further 12 and a half percent so basically on every job you do say you do a job for 100 pounds they will pay you 85 quid the following week and then they will pay you a remaining 12 pound 50 when they get their hundred pound and they will keep two pound fifty out of the job. So it's not too dear. Um, do, what about invoice control? Do, do they chase the debts for you? Yes, they do, and that's not necessarily always a good thing. They can do. We've tended to say to our, our factoring company, if you have a problem with an invoice, rather than you calling them, put it through us and we'll call them. Because a lot of the time, some of these companies are overworked, they're dealing with um, a lot of invoice, a lot of debt control, and they will ring and chase customers that they shouldn't be chasing, because the customers have already been paid, because they haven't married it up. So what I recommend you do is you do have someone you can, in the factory company you can work with, who will flag these things up for you, but at the same time, if you can do your own debt control, it is better. Um, what other questions were there? That was the debt control one. Do they chase the debts? So yeah, so they can chase the debts, but I recommend you chase your own debts. When do they pay? They pay weekly, how they work. What about invoice control? Invoice control, again, I'd recommend is better down to you. So if you have a factoring company, what you kind of really need to, and also the problems that you're going to get with certain things, is say, for example, you do a few jobs for one firm, um, and that job then pays, which jobs do they pay for? It's much, much better if you can avoid factoring companies. That way you can you can tally up all the invoices you've done with what's been paid, what hasn't been paid, nothing slips through the net. But, I mean, when I started, like I said, I didn't have two brass fathers to rub together. I had absolutely no chance, and without them, I would have sunk. Uh, the best thing you can do if you have got to use a factoring company, like I say, I do recommend Skipton's. They are very good. Uh, Franz uses them as well. He says they're very good too, so it's not just me. Um, eventually, hopefully, try and get a few quid to one side so you can wean yourself off. And then, I know my mate Daniel, he's, he's, he's finally managed to get out of his one, like, you know. But to start with, 
for a lot of us, they're a godsend. Because if you, you know, sometimes on the exchange you might not get paid, certain people aren't gonna pay you for two, three months. Some people might pay you the same day, but certain people aren't gonna pay you for two, three months. And to actually run a home, run a family, run all your bills, eat, put diesel in your vehicle, for like, you know, at least, I'd say you wanna give yourself at least six weeks, two months worth of dough, it's a lot of dough. You know, so it's not just the fact that you, the money you need to live on, but it's also the money you need to operate as a business. You've got to have the van service, you've got to have this done, you've got to have the oil change, all that kind of stuff. But that's the long and the short of his factoring companies as I understand them. As usual, I'm probably largely wrong. Um, and I welcome all your comments so I can just be the big mouth that tells you actually how it does work on a Sunday Q&A. So that's, that's kind of that now. So I'm going to actually go and sit down and write my Sunday Q&A questions now. Um, and in the meantime, I hope, you're all, <laughs> I hope you're all sleeping. But for those of you that are out on the road, you know what to do. Take care, take money.